Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share my homeschooling plans for my kindergartner and my preschooler. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls and this upcoming homeschool year, I will be entering in my fourth year of homeschool. So you guys, I'm really, really excited in planning out the start of my, what, 2023, 2024 homeschooling year. And I really have been enjoying making these planning videos for you guys. So um, in today's Today's video we are again going to be focusing on my kindergartner and my preschool slash pre k -er. and I'm going to flip you guys around and share with you guys um, our curriculum overview, my plan of attack for my two younger kiddos, um, all of the things that I have planned for our first two weeks starting back our homeschooling year. So you guys, let's go ahead and get right on into this thing. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and I lined up all of my preschool and my kindergartner's curriculum on my table. And we're just gonna go ahead and go through everything, my plan of attack. And I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm going to, um, I guess, organize and get everything prepared for our first two weeks of homeschool. It's not as much planning as I had to do with my sixth grader, but I do wanna have somewhat of a plan. So here is all of my preschoolers work. And as you guys can see, I made a few changes to her curriculum and I will share that with you guys. Here is our uh, morning time basket and I'll share that with you all. Here is my math box for my kindergarten math with confidence are all about reading. And of course I went ahead and I did a library picture pick up just now of the library books that we're going to use in starting off our homeschool year. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my kindergartner, giving you guys my curriculum overview and how I plan to attack kindergarten and preschool this homeschooling year. Hey you guys, we are going to start off with how I plan um, my kindergartner's math. So we are using two math curriculums this year. We're using kindergarten math with confidence and math you see primer. Her main math is kindergarten math with confidence and we supplement extra practice with Matthew C. Primer. She absolutely loves the blocks and it's really, really fun. Kindergarten math is so simple. Both of these curriculums together only takes us 20 minutes and she loves it. So we're going to continue using both of these until uh, one of them supersedes the other. So if I see she likes Math of Confidence better and or Matthew C., that's kind of the one we're gonna go with in the future. But for right now, uh, this is what we're using for math. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with um, Math with Confidence. So we started Math with confidence off in January, but we wasn't as consistent with this program. So in summer, I started it off from the completely like beginning of it. So over the course of the summer, you guys, we have completed a total of five weeks. So um, I'm really, really proud of us. A lot of the weeks was review and I'm happy that we were able to get our feet wet again in kindergarten math with confidence. So we are going to be starting off our homeschool year coming straight into um, lesson number six. And I went ahead and I have all of my items prepared that I need for this lesson. Um, I have my pattern blocks and my straws and things like that already ready to go. So um, I'm really, really excited to continue with this program. It's so much fun. It's hands on. So um, Matthew C, not Matthew C, you guys, <laughs> Math with Confidence has a total of 32 weeks and it's four lessons each week with an enrichment Friday activity that they have that includes like a math book, a math book, some type of like weaving in math into your everyday life. So um, it's a total again of 120 lessons. So I foresee us definitely finishing this off uh, by the end of our school year, if not sooner. And we're just going to take our time with this. And we're going to really just, like I said, just have fun. I really don't have like a specific timeline in finishing uh, math, to really be honest. I'm just kind of like taking my uh, daughter's lead and just going with the flow. So um, with that being said, uh, this this again is our primary math. Here is the math box that I created with uh, Math you see, and I have all of my stuff in like this little basket and I'm going to share with you guys some of the items I already have ready to go. I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up a lot of these items you guys for so cheap. So I have some dice here for our dice game when we need them. I have all of like our pennies and uh, nickels because this is the, I guess, currency we're using right now. So I have all of these ready to go whenever it calls for us to use money. I have my little uh, counting chips. I have so many different like math manipulatives for math with confidence because I really feel like it shakes it up. But 
All of these I got from the Dollar Tree. So these are like my chips right here. I also have the Old Faithful uh, Lincoln Cubes. Uh, these are my daughter's preferred, um, I guess, county manipulative. She really likes linking these together. So I have these. I also have um, some flash, not flash cards. I have some playing cards and I happen to find some Peppa Pig ones. So of course, you know, they get a really kick out of these when uh, we use our playing cards. I also have all of like my index cards that we've made so far of our number cards and I just went ahead and I put them with paper clips so whenever it calls for me to use um, like my curve lines that I already used or like our number flashcards I just put a paper clip so it separates them out. I also have like some other um, what is it like some other numbers and things like that that we used for um, Matthew C when we were doing her ones house and tens house so any type of number cards I went ahead and put it in this ziplock and then my last one is buttons because I just like a variety of manipulatives I have my um, 10 frame and my five frames um, already laminated this is actually from last year from preschool math at home when we were using our five frames so this one is the one that I'm using with Alana and then Leia of course we use our 10 frame and I have two of them for when we're going to be like playing our games and things like that one for me and one for her so this is like our little math box that I already have prepared and to really be honest with you guys I kind of just um, got things as I went it really wasn't a big deal for me to pick up a lot of these things from my uh, Dollar Tree and then put it in my cute little basket so that is our uh, math box so as far as uh, Matthew C goes, you guys, again, we um, are working through Primer as something fun and Leia really, really enjoys this. So right now, uh, coming into our school year, we are actually on week 10. So we actually start at week 10, so we're going to finish it up. So um, it's really, really cute her uh, doing these simple worksheets. And again, these are just really, really simple. She enjoys them and she has a lot of fun doing uh, Matthew C. Primer. Matthew C. Primer has a total of 30 lessons. So we have about 20 left to go. So uh, this is math for my younger um, kiddo. Okay, you guys, for our main reading and phonics instruction, we are using All About Reading Level 1. And um, if you guys have seen any of my previous videos, my middle daughter does have a speech delay so in doing all about reading in our phonics instructions I am taking it really really slow it's a total of 53 lessons in all about reading uh, level one and my goal for this homeschooling year you guys is really just to do half of this curriculum if we get anywhere past the halfway point of this I will be so excited but I just have a small goal for us to reach and I just really want to take reading um, and phonics instructions really really slow for her uh, we are going to be starting back a uh, speech therapy in August for her and uh, speech therapy after she gets done with her sessions you guys she's done for the day so um, I definitely don't want to push her uh, when it comes to this area because I know this is something she has to work on so um, all about reading does suggest for us to uh, spend 20 minutes per day in our reading instruction and to be honest with you guys we're actually only spending 10 minutes because my uh, middle daughter's attention span is a lot shorter than um, <laughs> my oldest was at her age and also too I think this is just the area she has to work at and I don't mind cutting the time in half because she still is doing great so uh, this over the course of the summer you guys we have completed lesson one and we're almost complete with lesson two and you guys like I literally just took my time uh, in this program and I just made it fun for her and I'm happy with the progress. She is blending CVC words uh, more fluently and um, I'm seeing a progression and that's all that matters when it comes to this area. So um, I'm happy with this program so far with it be just being two lessons in. So you guys, I said that I was going to prep my all about reading um, for you guys and share it with you, but it was so overwhelming. So what I just have been doing is just prepping like two weeks at a time. So um, here goes the all about reading progression chart right here. And then what I've just been doing is just cutting out two weeks at a time. So I have the first two lessons cut out. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut out like lesson three and four. So um, I'm just taking my time because it was really overwhelming trying to prepare that full activity book. And I think at the end of the homeschool year, I will have it completely prepped and ready um, for my next kiddo that's coming up in this um, level as well. So um, yeah, you guys, uh, that is kind of how I'm going to prep all about uh, reading. I'm just going to take it a couple of weeks at a time. I'm not going 
want to bombard myself. <laughs> so when my binder is complete, I will share it with you guys. But for right now, I'm just doing it two weeks at a time. So that is phonics instruction. And like I said before, we're taking our time. If we at least get through half of this program, I'll be happy. Now, as far as um, handwriting goes, we are doing handwriting without tears. And I really, really enjoy this program, you guys. Um, I have been using the, or I used the chalkboard last year with the sponge when we were teaching her her uppercase letter formation. And um, it was so beneficial uh, to her. And she really, really enjoyed uh, using the chalk. So in here, I have like my piece of chalk. I have the little uh, handwriting without tears pencil. Um, I will say this gave her more grip when she was writing out her um, letters than the bigger, chunkier pencil. So whichever one she likes. And then again, I have my sponge in here. So we're gonna take our time coming in uh, kindergarten um, kickstart to kindergarten with our uh, letters. And to really be honest, um, I'm just gonna take it one letter a week until we kind of pick it up. So for the, our first week, we'll probably just focus on doing F on our chalkboard um, Monday through Thursday, and then Friday we'll come in and I'll have her actually do it on her um, kindergarten or kickstart for kindergarten handwriting without tears book. And that's kind of like how I foresee us doing it, just taking our time with handwriting. Um, I really don't wanna put that much pressure on her for handwriting it's going to happen and I think by you know taking it slow and steady <laughs> it's going to be great so I do have the letters and numbers books as well if she gets through this book in the first semester and in second semester I do have the next book for her uh, ready to go now, as far as some supplemental practice, I do have Explode the Code for her. And again, this is probably gonna be something I will pick up either second semester and or when I see she becomes more fluent with her CVC words and we can begin using Explode the Code for that additional fluency and practice. So uh, this is probably gonna be something I pick up in our second semester. So you guys, for my preschooler, she is three and she is the last child and she is neck and neck when it comes to lay as far as like her learning she wants to be all up in the mix and a lot of the times if she is around while I'm teaching uh, Leia she's definitely absorbing the information so um, we are going to continue with her learning and I know she's young and most people don't really consider doing school with a three-year-old um, but she's ready and she's having fun and I'm gonna let this baby be great in our homeschool so we are going to be doing preschool math at home with her we actually finished the first chapter so we're going to come into the start of our school year uh, starting off with chapter two. So she's gonna be working on counting to 10 and we're gonna be doing all of the different games. To really be honest, a lot of these games in here, my oldest daughter has been working with Alana on these games while I'm working with Leia and then I kind of come back in and work with her again. So um, this has been such an easy program to implement uh, for the whole family and I really enjoy uh, preschool math at home. It's so gentle. So a change that I have made for Alana is I'm not going to do all about reading pre-reading you guys because she actually already knows all of her letter sounds she's blending fluently over the summer and um she is right there neck and neck when it comes to her reading ability with her older sister so um what i think i'm going to do is do gentle and classical preschool with just alana because i really enjoyed doing this program last year with leia and um i definitely think she can benefit from all the things that's in gentle and classical preschool versus is all about reading pre-reading. I found out that the all about reading level one does go over the syllables and the rhyming skills. So I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself when it comes to those skills because I know it's gonna come up in the next level. I think I wanna focus on uh, these type of things right here with Alana instead of the things that are in all about reading pre-reading because she already knows her letters, her letter sounds. She's she's blending you guys so I think you know she's surpassed that level so anyway uh, we are going to be doing gentle and classical preschool we're going to start off our homeschool year with unit one and I definitely think this will be fun for Leia because a lot of the things that uh, we did in here it will remind her of this program and I'm just going to spend that extra time focusing on it with Alana and I think she'll enjoy it and I love how these pieces connect together I have our uh, gets ready for the um school first handwriting uh, book for her. And again, this is probably gonna be a book I pick up in our second semester as her fine motor skills grow. But this is really just a fun kickstart book, you guys, to beginning letter formation. And again, I'm going to be using the chalkboard with her. Um, and I'm gonna be doing all the other activities that goes along with a Gentle and Classical's morning binder as well. 
Now for Alana's phonics, again, we're going to be doing elemental phonics. And you guys, uh, right now she is actually on lesson number 23. And I also use these uh, flashcards from JDA for her to just practice. And you guys, she really, really enjoys reading the letter and then looking on the back at the picture. Um, these I got from her Teachers Pay Teachers. And a lot of times, to really be honest, she likes using the uh, flashcards instead of actually using the book. And sometimes I write out the the words on my dry erase board and I let her sound them out but this is where Alana my three-year-old is at in her CVC words and we're going to just keep on uh, plugging at her CVC words until she gets to the sentences at the end and if I have to buy the next level I will and or when she finishes this book I may just go ahead and start her on all about reading level one you guys uh, because uh, this is where uh, my baby girl is at and I'm gonna you know let her have a seat at the table and have fun so you guys now I'm going to share with you what is what I do for the kiddos in calendar time and I'm going to share with you guys our library books that we have picked out for them. Okay you guys here is my library book haul for my younger kiddos and starting off our homeschool year. What I went ahead and did was I got the next three um, math books that goes along with uh, kindergarten math with confidence that I need so um, I'm three weeks ahead on that so this is Shape Shapes and Shapes. I have Left Right Emma and Sorted Out are the next three books that I need and then I went ahead and got some fun books for uh, Leia and starting off kindergarten. So I have a uh, kindergarten countdown, countdown to kindergarten, the queen of kindergarten and kindergarten where kindness matters every day. So this is like going to be like all the books I want to read with um, my kiddos in the first week of our homeschool. The one math book, of course, and then the rest of the kindergarten books. We're going to read the book for uh, Alana, which is Last Stop to Market street with her gentle and classical preschool as well so I have a cute little stack and what I pretty much do is um, every week or two I just figure out what type of theme I want to get as far as literature books to read with them whatever they're liking and enjoying is what I pretty much check out from the library and that's kind of like how I'm going to do it I'm going to try my best you guys to not purchase so many books this year picture books I'm going to really utilize my library so uh, right now this is going to be what we start off with and then I may pick up books like towards the fall like on like uh, leaves and fall time and different things like that as the seasons go. And that's kind of how I'm going to do my literature and picture books with my kiddos so they can have something to look like forward to or whatever. So this is my uh, quick little library book haul for uh, my kindergartner and my pre k -er. Now, um, you guys, last but not least, I wanted to share with you guys our calendar time and what I do for calendar time with the kiddos. So of course, uh, gentle and classical preschool is what Leia and Alana is kind of pretty much going to be doing together because they have like the memory statement cards. Um, the scripture reading, all that stuff that we do in the morning. And right after that, we go into our calendar time. And this is a time where Brielle is working independently. So I have my Melissa and Doug calendar that um, I'm going to put to good use this homeschooling year. Um, I also have these uh, charts that I have been using in practicing specific skills. So this is us counting one to a hundred every single day. I've been going over our like seasons of the year. This is our months of the year. We sing the song and then the days of the week. So uh, these are like my posters that I hold up for the kiddos and I have my little count, my little stick or whatever. And they really get a good kick out of like our calendar time. So these are the two resources that I use for calendar time. I also have our uh, preschool morning binders that I used last year and I have uh, them in these dry erase sleeves and this year I have one for Leia and Alana and um, as we kind of get more into our routine I do want to pull these out again uh, so all about me we go over the name the age how they're feeling uh, the next page has like the um, days of the week the shade in the month the date and then here is where we can put counters on as far as us figuring out okay is it 11, 12, 13, you know, so that's really, really fun for the kiddos. Um, I also have the uh, weather, the season, how it feels outside. And then for Leia, she's practicing her uh, numbers one to 10. So this is Alana's and it looks pretty much the same. The only difference with Alana's is that uh, since she has like a letter of the week, uh, this is she has her like build it section where she can use like um, any type of 
play-doh any type of blocks to build the letter and then in the back she has to find the letter and actually trace it and this is actually how Leia learned her letter recognition through gentle and classical preschool and she really really enjoyed it so uh, these are like their little what morning menus that I'm going to be using for their calendar time and uh, they really really enjoy uh, using this and I think um, I may get the kindergarten morning binder since all I have is the preschool one so I'll be able to have those different level skills for my kindergartner um, as well but for right now I think what I have is good to go so this is what we use for calendar time you guys again here is my planner and um, I showed you guys glimpses of my pan planner in my last video so since we are just on my kindergartner and preschooler here is again all of their core that I'm using the amount of lessons I have the literature uh, books that I want to read in different like months so I have fall community helpers Thanksgiving Christmas picture books stars in space I want to get some books for black history month spring plants gardens ponds and beach so these are like some of the picture book themes I do want to pick up from our local library each month and um, if I find any other themes I'll go ahead and write them down but I do want to have always like with me a stack of books so I can ensure that I'm doing enough like read alouds with my uh, younger kiddos so this is like my little tentative plan um, here is the curriculum overview for uh, Leia and then I have Alana's. I just have to add her gentle and classical preschool right here. And I also have her explode the code or her get ready for the code. We probably will pick up again in January. So um, as far as their week at a glance, um, what I have for us to tackle our first few weeks is I want us to start off with Leia on All About Reading Level 2. We're going to start off with Kindergarten Math Confidence, Week 6, Matthew C. Primer, Lesson 10 for Alana. We're going to do Gentle and Classical Preschool Unit 1, her Preschool Math at Home, Chapter 2, and then her CVC Word Practice through like Elemental Phonics. And for the next week review for week number two, I have pretty much the same thing. So for uh, week number two, I have the same thing. So kindergarten math with confidence, week seven, Matthew C, lesson 11, all about reading. I just still put lesson three. I really don't know. Like I said, you know, I'm just taking my time when it comes to all about reading. Again, preschool math at home, CVC practice, and then her um, Alana's gentle and classical preschool unit 10 is like my goals for the first two weeks. On Friday, when Brielle is doing art, I do want to do some type of messy art with the kiddos you guys I pin so many things on Pinterest so what I do is I just go on my Pinterest uh, pin when it comes to messy art and I pick something something I already have like all the art supplies and things like that for my kiddos to do so for our first two weeks of school what we're going to do is just do messy art Fridays and hopefully my younger kiddos will enjoy it so that is how simple I am planning for my younger kiddos and starting off our homeschooling year thank you guys so much for watching today's video as I planned out my my kindergartner and my pre-kers um, homeschooling year. I'm really, really excited, you guys, to start off from the beginning with my younger two. I'm a little bit nervous in starting off with them, but I really feel like I have a simple plan of attack for this upcoming homeschool year. I really want to keep things simple with my younger two. I want to have fun. Um, I don't want to really put that like added pressure on myself that I don't need to, especially for these younger gears with my kiddos. So um, hopefully in today's video, especially if you are starting off your homeschooling journey from the beginning with a younger kiddo, hopefully these little tips and tricks that I'm doing with my younger ones will be um, like advice for you guys and you can kind of like uh, take a deep breath and relax. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.